Hello there, Taurus. Thanks for being here watching T's Tarot. We are doing your June energy. So we're going to be diving into each week for you for June. Uh, so whatever comes up, general energy uh, forecast for you here on T's Tarot. So welcome to the show. Um, we're going to be doing Oracle cards as well. Your animal spirits to start off with. Um, please, if you like the channel, if you like my vibe, um, please hit the like, share, subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Your energy goes into the readings when you do like, share, subscribe, or comment. So anyways, we're going to dive right in. I do have two contests going on. So if you want to check in the description box below for all new subscribers, uh, your uh, entered into a week, a monthly draw for a free reading with me. Also, the 40th person to comment on any one of my videos wins a free reading. There has been wi winners already, and I will be posting those for June. So you still have time to uh, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, but when you subscribe, you're automatically entered into a monthly draw to win a free half an hour reading with me. The 40th person who comments on any one of my videos, uh, you win a free hour reading with me. So my email is in the description box. So we are going to get started with your energy here. And I'm going to first draw from the Animal Spirit Guides. This is your June energy. We're going to go week by week for you, Taurus. Okay, for June. I love the Animal Spirit um guides deck i do i also have the unknown the wild unknown uh animal uh deck as well so i'm looking forward to using those with you i'm also going to be using the witch's tarot as well as the original rider's weight okay so let's get into it for for taurus so I, I'm sorry about that glare there. Usually I turn that light off, but it was just too dark in here today. And um, anyway, so that glare, if it bothers you, I'm so sorry. Um, here on the channel, we are just growing the channel here at Teastro. So I do appreciate all likes and subscribes. Really, really does help the channel. So here we go. Maybe with new lighting coming soon. Okay, for you, Taurus. We have spider. Okay. So trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. I believe the last uh, video uploads I did for Capricorn, I believe also got this. So spider. So if you are feeling creative, make sure you tap in to that energy in June. Okay. So that is from the Animal Spirit Guides. We're also going to be using the original writers, writers, wait, tarot for you. I'm going to draw one card for your overall energy from the Heaven and Earth tarot deck. And we'll see how your June is looking for you. For Taurus, please. Overall energy for Taurus. So I really hope you're enjoying the channel. If it, do, if it doesn't resonate, if this uh, isn't your reading, uh, just come back next week to tease tarot, okay? And uh, take what resonates, leave the rest, of course. Uh, we know that. And also, um, gender doesn't matter in tarot, so it's just masculine, feminine energies. Also, cross watchers, yes, you are welcome, of course. So, if you're checking out your Taurus and you want to see how their June's going and you care about them and you want to know, uh, you are welcome here, cross watchers. So, for your general overview, your general energy for the month of June for you, Taurus, is Eight of Swords. I'm going to say this is probably the card I dislike the most in the deck of Tarot. Um, yeah, that's your overall energy. So that is, um, 
a false sense of imprisonment. Okay. So feeling bound to something, tied to something. Uh, this is fear-based energy. You see that she could just walk away anytime she likes. So we're going to um, clarify that for you. Okay. But that could be what you're leaving in May and going into June. Okay. So we're going to go week by week. I'll pull a few cards for each week for you. Taurus. Taurus energy for the first week of June. Taurus energy, please. Angels, guides, ancestors. Taurus. Any more shuffles? Okay, so first week, and I will clarify with the Witch's Tarot. For the first week of June, we have the hair font. Okay, so religious matters, something that you um, are faithful towards. This is a rel religious leader. Okay, this could be seeking out religious counsel. Okay, this is also the Pope. Okay, so someone very highly spiritual, of strong faith, possibly praying, okay, is what you are doing uh, for the first week of June or seeking out religious counsel, uh, the Hierophant. Okay, then we have the Five of Cups, which is leaving, uh, sorry, this is loss, sadness, regret, sorrow. Three cups are spilled, two are still standing, although he has his back turned to the two cups that are standing. There's still very much um, love there for him or her, uh, but the three cups that are spilled over, that is what the focus is on. It's crying over spilt milk energy, um, but there's still two cups that he's just not wanting to look at. Then, of course, we have the two religious leaders in the deck for you for the first week. We have the high priestess here, okay, that could be something of significance, something very spiritual in the um, journey, on your journey uh, for June Taurus. So this is very, very in tune, a very much a spiritual being, okay, spiritual light energy. This is someone that holds secrets, okay, so it could be something about this loss that you're enduring. Then we have the Knight of Wands. So this is high energy, very fast moving energy, something um, to do with passion and desire, a strong willing towards your passion and desires. And then we have King of Pentacles. So that, of course, is security, uh, bounty, um, something to do with your pence, your coin, money matters, okay, financial security. So we're going to clarify as we go week by week, and I'm going to clarify with the Witch's Tarot. Okay, so I'm going to first clarify your overall energy, the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords? So Aries had a very strong, strong reading. Okay, I did see a card. That was, where'd it go? Okay, uh, Aries had a very long reading. I do apologize for the long reading, but that's just how T's Tarot is. I want to dive in. I want to find out the messages for you and um, make sure that they are, um, you know, right. So clarifying, of course, each week. So there it is. Again, the High Priest, which is the Hierophant. Okay, in the Witch's Tarot. So the Eight of Swords for... Taurus, why is the Eight of Swords here for the general en energy for June? Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? For Taurus, for June 2023, for Taurus. More shuffles, please. One and Three of Wands. Okay, so setting your sights, 
on something, something that you're passionate about, something that you've been planning is in the works and you're ready to take off, okay? So I don't feel that you will be in this um, energy. This is very stuck energy uh, for much longer because you are planning your move and you are um, moving ahead, okay? So, okay. And so I, I really don't think that you're going to be in that uh, energy for too long. Like I said, Eight of Swords is the card I just I dislike the most in tarot. Um, it's just a feeling. It's a mentality. Okay, and like I said, yes, you are moving uh, towards calmer waters, okay? Something that you're moving towards, okay, in the month of June, okay, the beginning of June. And something to do with religious counsel. So possibly seeking religious counsel would be a good idea for you. Okay. Uh, five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here, please? So it looks like you're moving away from something and you're needing to move to safer ground. Something that you're planning. Take a course of action to leave the Eight of Swords energy being um, bound to something. You're freeing yourself in the month of June. The Five of Cups, which is lost sadness, um, crying over spilled milk, is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So moving toward something that is more secure, okay, side by side, moving towards something that will bring you abundance, uh, security, okay? Very much a successful uh, beginning for you in June, moving towards that. Why is the High Priestess here for Taurus? Why is the High Priestess here? Taurus Energy for June 2023. Why is the High Priestess here, please? more shuffles one and two. okay four of ones okay so happy home life all right so you're moving towards something that is secure that has to do with your home okay environment happy um so being very possibly secretive about this move okay but this is celebrations okay so that is what's coming towards you in the middle of the first week of june Seems like uh, the energies are leaving um, some tough things behind in May. Aries was the very same with the overall general energy. Okay, Knight of Wands. Looks like a lot of um, good energy, though, I've noticed um, with Aries' uh, video. Very, they have a lot to look forward to, Aries. So if you know an Aries... Uh, you may want to check out that video. So, Knight of Wands for Taurus energy. And you're very close to Aries. If you're a cusper, you might want to check out that. Okay. The Chariot. So, yeah, something you're very passionate about. Okay. Uh, will be victorious. You're moving towards uh, something that you're desiring. And the Chariot is um, action oriented. So fast action, moving towards victory, okay, and success. So whatever it is that you are moving towards, whatever you're leaving behind, because this also is leaving uh, three cups behind, all right, and you are moving two action cards there, moving towards something that is, that you're passionate about, that uh, offers security, King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? For Taurus energy. For Taurus. King of Pentacles. Why is that? Okay, so wish fulfillment. Victor nine, you have the chariot. Then you have, yes, nine of cups. So wish fulfillment with king of pentacles if you're moving towards the king of pentacles or the knight of wands yes that is your wish fulfillment um happy home okay 
um, and a lot of faith and a lot of um, high, high intuition at this time. Your intuition is at an all time high. Also, we have the Ace of Swords. So brand new beginning, fresh start, something that you've been thinking of for a long time. This is your truth. OK, and it is also victorious. All right. So very much uh, moving towards something that offers you wish fulfillment uh, the beginning of the week um, on setting. Uh, going towards wish fulfillment with the Ace of Swords. So brand new start um, after leaving the Eight of Swords behind. Okay, so now week number two for Taurus. What is week number two in June? Second week of June for Taurus. We have Justice. For Taurus, second week of June, please. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. For June for Taurus, second week of June, please. So we have justice for you. Okay, so justice is in your favor. And we will clarify three of pentacles, so strong partnership to do with pentacles. Then we have eight of pentacles working hard, using your skills, your mindset. Um, your talents, okay, and also putting in your work and seeing that that is successful for you, okay, so seeing the fruits of your labor uh, for the second week of June. Something has been weighing heavily on your mind um, or you've been working too hard, okay, uh, but something that's weighing heavily on you, okay, a burden of some kind. Then we have the magician for the second week of June and again, the chariot, okay, so uh, double confirmation of victory and success. So we have a really, um, for you in June, we have a lot of strong leaders on the board. We have Justice, the Hierophant, and the High Priestess. Okay, so definitely moving towards higher um, understanding, a higher truth. Uh, justice is in your favor when it comes out for a particular zodiac in the collective, a general energy. Yes, justice is in your favor. You'll be, we'll be working in a team, okay? So heavy emphasis on work and team projects. Make sure that you're not, um, you know, doing too much work. This is heavy burden, a weight on your shoulders. But we do have magician energy and again, the chariot. Okay, and so we're going to clarify those for you, Justice. Why is Justice here? Ace of Swords and Justice as well. I find the sword suit with justice because, of course, there is a sword as well. So uh, the truth does prevail. Okay, this also could be um, marriage part. Okay, moving towards a happy home. Okay, and then seeking out, of course, the hair font is also a someone of religion that could, you know, um, offer you a marriage or a ceremony, a religious ceremony in terms of marriage. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it looks pretty good so far. I don't see anything except for the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords, but I will look into that. We have Clarifying Justice, the Two of Wands. So this is going within retracting, um, you know, it's being an observer um, in your own life, okay, looking outward, not really making plans, but you have a lot of um, good ideas, uh, but they're not put into motion as of yet, but they will be. Um, and of course, this is the where he's holding the world in his hands. So a lot of um, good energy coming from the two of wands, but it's uh, sort of retracting your energy and just sort of um, deciphering what different moves you want to make in life, what you're going to be doing next, and that is clarifying justice. So, 
three of pentacles. Three of pen pentacles. What is this team? Three of pentacles. Why is this here for Taurus? For June energy. So the two of wands is, um, of course, and the ones that we have here, three of wands as well. So it looks like that you do make a decision to move and it has to do move forward in life and it has to do with justice. Three of pentacles and the wands energy, of course, is Leo, Sag, and Aries. Okay, so um, I'm going to take that. Again, we have the high priestess, which is the high um pre or sorry the high priest which is the hair font in the witch's tarot okay so again religious council so there could be a religious leader that is part of something that you're doing something that you're setting your sights on okay because we have the hair font twice here okay so, so something very religious this is the religious council the pope all right and it looks like you're building a team uh, something to do with religion, community-based, okay? Could be volunteer work as well, okay? Why the Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups? Or Eight of Pentacles here, I apologize. Eight of Pentacles. Why do we have the Eight of Pentacles here? Again, clarified, again, with the three of pentacles so three of pentacles side by side uh eight of pentacles so a very very strong team uh possibly to do with volunteer work something of religious value anyways could be a team of course of two people coming together or three people coming together to create something um that has to do with religious factors okay and we do have justice here as well, of course, like I said. So justice is in your favor when it comes to this team, this building of a team. Okay. okay, and that is eight of pentacles. So it's a strong partnership. You will see success from it. You will be working diligently and it will be fruitful for you. Okay, Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? For Taurus. Eight of Wands. Although Tauruses um, are known to be steadfast workers, okay, hard workers, of course. Uh, they make excellent leaders. You could be the Hierophant um, within this as well. You could be someone that has very high faith, very spiritual in nature. Seems like you're starting something brand new with the two of wands here, I feel. Six of swords, of course, moving away from something that wasn't serving you. It was making you feel stuck. Okay, and then the ten of wands. That's another stuck energy. Ten of wands. Why do we have the ten of wands here for Taurus for the second week of June? Ten of Swords. Okay, so two tens. So, okay, so with the Ten of Wands, that means, yes, the burden that you're carrying, that you could be facing and carrying, is over. Okay, when you drop those wands, um, of course, you're going to feel a lot of weight lifted. Then we have here the Ten of Swords. So that's pain, the infliction of pain. Um Coupled with the Eight of Swords as well as your overall energy, meaning that the pain is over. You've endured the pain. It's now has ended. Okay. Um, this is stabbed in the back energy, which could have left you feeling very heavy. Um, you know, uh, a heavy weight to bear. This is being stabbed in the back. Um, so possibly something to do with um religious counsel uh possibly receiving religious counsel will help you okay and then we have so two tens there for you ten ten okay 
but the pain is over. And then, of course, we start again at the beginning, which we have the Ace of Swords here already. So I feel like in June, you've already started the healing process and you are beginning something fresh and new, something to do with the intellect. Okay, why is the magician here? This is the magician. So yeah, your intuition and also your um, intentions are being heard and whatever you manifest, of course, is going to be victorious. We have the chariot right next to the magician. So why is the magician here, please, for Taurus? Why is the magician here for Taurus? Five of Swords. Okay. So manifesting this ending, manifesting the conflict ending. Okay. Manifesting justice in your favor, manifesting um, conflict resolution. Okay is what I feel that that is all about. So you may be seeking counsel for something uh, in your life that has caused you uh, deep heartache, a lot of pain, a heavy burden, and you're manifesting your desires and um, you're moving forward from that energy and you're manifesting the chariot. So victor victory, success, building a team uh, with someone. Okay. And I'm going to Clarify the chariot here for you. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here for Taurus for June? The chariot, please. Clarifying the chariot. Knight of Swords. Okay, so very fast moving, this very fast energy. Um, this is um, a knight, so very action oriented as well. Uh, a message of some kind. The sword suit is all about intellect, um, mental activity, as well as, of course, communication. That's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Okay, and so we have the Ten of Swords, the Five of Swords, and then the Knight of Swords, what he is known for is cutting out what no longer serves him. He has an, a role to play uh, within his kingdom where he charges fiercely forward. He has something to say. It's very direct, very much um, says what's on his mind and cuts out what no longer serves him. It's air energy. It's, it's cutting out air and energy that no longer serves the purpose. And it will be victorious, cutting out anything to do with conflict and, of course, this pain that you may have endured, Taurus, in June, okay? This also could be past energy, could be future-oriented as well. I keep looking at the lovers at the at the bottom of the deck. That came out twice. I'm just letting you know. Okay. So, okay. So, moving forward. Third week for Taurus. General, thank you. Third week for Taurus General Overview of June 2023. Third week of June, thank you. For Taurus. Taurus Energy for third week in June 2023. For Taurus Energy General Overview for Taurus Energy. Thank you, angels, guides, ancestors, for these messages for Taurus. We have the Empress that came out for you, third week of June, starting off, and then nine of wands. For Taurus Energy, it looks like you're battling through something pretty heavy. Quite substantial energy in terms of the heaviness that you're really wanting and putting your manifestations to move out of that energy. For Taurus, for the third week of June, please, angels, guides, ancestors, two more shuffles. One. And two. 
Okay, a lot of heavy energy, Taurus. Um, you're definitely leaving something behind. Definitely moving on to um, something better. Okay, so we have the Empress. So that, of course, is uh, nurturing energy, uh, Mother Nature, abundant success. Um, all the queens in one. So the Queen of Cups, the Wands, the Swords, and the Pentacles. Okay, so very abundant queen. She's pregnant in this card. So it could mean birth announcements. Of course, it doesn't have to. Could just um, note to the presence of a nurturing energy around you, the Empress, okay, underneath the justice. Nine of Wands, we're going to clarify these. Nine of Wands, leaving the battleground. This is the wounded warrior. These wands behind him are karmic lessons that he's learned. He's wounded. He's ready to move forward. He's taking a breath, and then he will be making his move forward. We also have the Seven of Swords. So uh, heavy energy again, deceitful energy lies uh betrayal okay and then we have the page of swords this is communication okay a page a message something of communication although it may not be well grounded or well thought out it's it's said uh, from a page of course an immature energy so a message from a sword suit from the page of swords and then we have tower moment do not be afraid it is for uh the good of all and you will see I do know this for a fact with tower moments. Sometimes it's scary. It could be a good surprise, of course, but they're shock. It's shock. It's chaotic. It's surprising. Um, it's something that's going to knock you off your feet, but it will land you to your higher purpose um, for the good of all. You will be thankful when the tower shows up. Maybe not now, but in a few weeks when you are building and restarting to rebuild your tower, you see they're all thrown out of the building and, you know, they're landing on the ground and there's lightning and, you know, they're diving out of the tower. So they could be scary at first, but really it, I've always looked back on every single tower moment, which I've had many and been very blessed when I've seen the other side of that tower moment. And I always say, thank goodness I had that tower moment because I wouldn't be here. So I see this card as a catapult catapultist to um, your next, um, where your energy should be, okay? And what you should be building and how you should be creating your foundation, okay? That has been shaken up. So I see it just pushing you forward. The universe steps in if something is going on and there has been a lot of... Um, heavy, heavy energy that you have been, um, that has been around you seems in for you, Taurus, this um, May, June. Okay. So I feel that that will be leaving. Once a tower shows up, game's over. Okay. It's time to recreate and just put your energy into a building, a structure, a home, something that's long lasting and it's a blessing in disguise. Okay. And then what we have here is the devil who um, you know, always shows up just to let us know we have decisions to make in terms of our health, our healing, our wellness. Um, what things that are good for us, okay, as opposed to codependent relationships, addictions, obsessions, could be anything, it could be so many things um, that could, the devil shows up to say, okay, um, make sure it could be in a, a partnership, okay, someone has addictions, or someone is codependent, um, you know, things like that. So you might want to pay, pay mind, to your health, your wellness, um, make sure you're making good choices in terms of your health and wellness. Um, he always shows up, of course, it's our fears as well, um, overcoming fears. So when the tower shows up with the devil, it's saying, okay, this no longer serves you. Um, it's not healthy for you. Okay, remember that because this is a blessing in disguise and you have the choice to start fresh, rebuilding from that tower moment. Okay. okay. So we're going to clarify again with, with the witch's tarot. So clarifying the Empress. 
we have the world. Okay, so there you go. The world and the empress. Okay, underneath justice. So justice in your favor. Yes, working with strong leaders with the three of pentacles. Okay, nurturing energy and the world. Okay, so that is a brand new world for you that you will be moving towards. Okay, the six of swords, I feel, is your strongest card in the deck moving forward, leaving to higher ground, leaving to... Uh, more purpose, something that is purposeful, something that um, will be better for you, okay? And then the world, the world comes and says, okay, so all of this um, Eight of Swords energy, the Five of Cups energy is now over, okay? And um, with the Nine of Wands, of course, um, all these karmic lessons are now behind you, the Ten of Swords as well with the Five of Swords, a lot of strong, heavy, heavy energy, the Ten of Wands. You're saying goodbye to that, okay? And you are starting a brand new world, okay, with um, also a tower moment. So these couple together, it's going to be good. It's going to be really, really good. Um, just make sure that you're watching, you know, your intake of, you know, anything that, you know, is harmful to you, okay? Um, it's not always just addictions. It could be a relationship that is not good for you or anything in terms of, you know, your foundation, your home. Okay. So brand new world moving forward for you. We also have the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? So that means you're starting fresh. Okay. The world is at your feet. The world is your oyster. You can create what you want in your new world. You have all the intention to do so. Okay. Okay, the hermit energy. So yes, there is a time in June. I'm not going to say the third week of June. I feel like it could be any time during May, June, or July with the hermit energy that you go within. You retract your energy and you really become your own wise counsel, also coupled with the uh, high priest again. So that's also the Hierophant. So really, this is the wisest uh, tarot character in the deck. So really asking yourself really hard questions about life, your karmic lessons, what you've learned from those things, coming up with new conclusions, um, you know, and you're, you're your inner guide, okay? So you're your compass as you move forward. You may learn some new things when you ask yourself different questions, Okay, and, um, you know, when new values, new morals, new understandings, okay, that's what the hermit energy is all about, withdrawing your energy, going within. The hermit energy, yeah, could take a long time sometimes. We're not meant to stay there. As you see, he's, he's forging forward at some point, but going within and really asking yourself hard questions, um, things that will be a value for you moving forward that will change your world, okay, that can change your world, these things that you um, desire, new things, that aspects of yourself that you learn about. Um, you will be doing this at some point, May, June, July, I feel, um, for yourself. And it's also looking at the lessons from behind, looking at those karmic lessons and really um, taking, um, you know, putting your light on all of those things, learning what you can from that situation, the nine of wands battling the wounded warrior, and then moving forward, okay, after you have shined a light on those matters. Okay. So for seven of swords, we have the sneaky energy of the seven of swords, very sneaky, um, taking these swords away, okay, and we have karma, so that is uh, judgment. So Again, we have justice and judgment. So um, with all of this heavy energy, and I do feel it has been heavy for you, um, even though you're moving away from all of that, yes, the, um, this is a big heck yeah from uh, Archangel Gabriel saying, yes, I've seen you. I've seen the lies. I've seen the deceit. And, you know, they're applauding you saying, you know, way to go. You're mastering your own fate. You're doing what you need to do. You're working hard. You're being diligent. Okay, so from that page of swords, why is the page of swords here, please? So this is a message, okay? It's um, from a page. I I guess people seem not to like me. It's a little, 
page, okay? But he comes with communication, sometimes without thought, clumsy in his words. He's a, he's a page. He's delivering a message. He's doing the best job he can, I'm sure. Um, but it's an immature energy uh, bringing forth a message for you. What is this message? Page of Swords for Taurus. A lot of breakthroughs. A lot, a lot of breakthroughs in your energy. Um, overcoming a lot um, within June, you know, the summer anyways. A lot of changes, a lot of growth. Okay, especially I feel with uh, the Hermit energy. When we do that, we can really... Um, Turn to new ways of thinking, being, acting, okay? The way that we think about ourselves. Okay, why is Page of Swords here for Taurus? Page of Swords, thank you. Okay, so we have the Hanged Man that came out first, okay? So... Again, uh, a little bit of time to yourself, time to look at things in a new light. Looking at things um, upside down, of course, gives you a new outlook on life, okay, with the Page of Swords. So a message comes in and you take some time to look at that energy and you look at it in a new light, looking at things upside down. And of course, he can leave any time. He comes to his conclusion sometimes rather quickly. He makes his decisions and off he goes. But there is a message of some kind and you will be, um, this is the hanged man, so in suspension, thinking about that um, in a new light. And then what comes uh, is Ace of Wands right before the tower. Okay, so a fresh new beginning, something that you desire that also is coming in from the Page of Swords energy. Okay, so make sure you're checking your mailboxes always with the pages. Check your inboxes, your voicemails, um, fresh new energy in your passionate pursuits, in your desires, things that you dream about. Moving that is divinely given from the universe for you. Looks like you have been through many, many hurdles, many hiccups. Um you know, May going into June. Then we have the tower. Why is the tower here? For Taurus. Why is the tower here for Taurus? So we have Cancer Energy, Capricorn. Uh, what else we have? Taurus. Here's a little Sag. Answer Scorpio Pisces. Okay, why is the tower here, please? For Taurus energy, why is the tower here? For Taurus. And yes, my readings are long. I have 20-minute um, readings, which is just a quick look at your career, finance, and love energy with messages from your angels. I also have uh, shorter uh, videos on shorts called Tease Shorts. But then I have my long program, um, looking in um, at your energy, wanting to give you the messages for the collective. For Taurus, why is the tower here, please? The Taurus. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so building with Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so now you're thinking about success. You're thinking about structure, stability. Okay, if anyone you want to build with in terms of partnership it, in building from a tower moment would be the Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay, so something that is long lasting, is secure. She is a queen that knows how to handle her finances, handle her home, of course. Her home is where she, you know, 
creates, okay, and that is why she creates. That's why she works so hard is for her home and for the longevity of the home and the people within the home, okay? So that is Queen of Pentacles energy, hardworking, very tenacious energy. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy as well. Okay. Let me clarify a few cards further for you. Why is the devil here for Taurus? Why is the devil here? For Ace of Cups. So fresh new beginning and love. So saying goodbye to no, what no longer serves you, which these two cards here is what that's all about. Okay. So feeling the fear of moving forward, not able to move forward, even though you can, that is what the devil energy could bring to uh, your energy, Taurus. Okay. So feeling uh, fearful to move forward, the devil energy shows up with that energy that you started off from. But once you untangle yourself from the eight of swords, there is a fresh new beginning in love. If all of the cards were to bring love, this is the one that would, it's overflowing with the senses, all the five senses of love. So um, a fresh new beginning in love, of course, building security is what you are thinking about, what you're resonating within, and also passionate energy, of course. So we have two aces here, I believe, ace of wands and ace of cups so brand new energy in the world that's a lot of brand new energy moving forward okay and of course yes judgment is yours okay because the archangels have been watching you through a lot of your pain that you've endured okay you have a lot of um, loss and sadness things that you're leaving behind and then we have the king and queen of pentacles here, okay? So you're building and you're leaving that energy, okay? And I still feel the strongest card for you in the deck, the most profound for you is moving forward. Once you make that decision to move forward, uh, the devil energy only shows up to create fear. So this is, you know, a false sense of imprisonment, which is fear-based that you cannot move forward but you definitely can. And when you do, uh, fresh new love is for you. And of course, we have the star energy, what you don't see coming on at the bottom of the deck. So quite heavy, um, but a lot of good within that. Of course, we have the Empress Justice, like I said, team building, also very strong emphasis on something to do with the team. Um, it could be religious in, in merit, okay, something that you're praying on even. Of course, when we're praying, we're, we're seeking religious counsel as well, okay. We do have the four of one, so you will be celebrating a happy home in June, okay. So I'm going to just uh, ask for any other messages for Taurus for June. Any other messages for Taurus, please? Angels, guides, ancestors. We have the King of Wands. So very passionate. That's the guy that gets the job done. He he will set his mind to something and he will do it no matter what. So if that is you or someone on the team where you're building with the Three of Pentacles, that is excellent energy. The King of Wands brings a lot of passion to his work pursuits and his desires. And then we have victory. Okay. What you, um, another message for you. So you will be victorious. Okay. But you are leaving heavy burdens behind anything else for Taurus. You will be victorious, uh, possibly working with someone with the King of Wands energy, very passionate, fiery energy gets the job done. That could be you or someone you're working with. Also King of Pentacles. And we have Knight of Wands. So yes, very, very, very uh, much um, full of desire, full of passion. Okay, something that you're creating fresh, brand new. Ace of Wands as well we have. And uh, yeah, definitely. Seven of Cups. A lot of options. A lot of ways to maneuver through, you know, the Eight of Swords energy and the burdens that you were carrying 
a lot of uh, things to think about, okay? A lot of options coming for you. Okay, so um, making sure that you make the right choice, of course, again, with the devil energy. Anything else for Taurus? So this could be fantasy illusion. This is dreaming at night, thinking different options you have in terms of your own success or in terms of love, of course, because it is cups. So it could be a lot of options coming towards you. You could be leaving a relationship. Could be business related or love, you would know. Um, if this resonates with you, please hit the like button. Um, if this is not your story, don't make it fit. Just come back next time to Cheese Tarot. So we have the moon. I was waiting for that to come out. The moon. So this is secrets. This is uh, secret fantasies secret desires, things going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, but do come to light, okay? Because um, in the moon, we don't see it in the dark, but of course, in the daylight, we do see these things. And also, we have for you two of cups for you. So a lot of love, possibly a new beginning in love. Um, a lot of decision-making for you, and a lot of options, a lot of clearing of energy. Okay, so make sure that you're putting your intentions out there. You have the magician. You're clearing your energy. And it looks like right off the get-go, you're, you're just leaving something behind that no longer serves you. Possibly that will um, bring you empress status, okay? And yes, justice is in your favor, okay? So if you are dealing with anything in the justice system, with judgment as well, we have here karma from the witch's tarot. Yes, it is in your favor, leaving those burdens behind, really moving forward. You have two chariots here, that's cancer energy, okay? Okay, so I'm going to pull from angel answers. So if you have any questions, any curiosities, start thinking about them now and we'll get some angel answers for you. So any questions for Taurus, please angels, guides, and ancestors for Taurus. Okay, there was a lot that came out here. So we have abundance, okay? Communicate clearly. Within the next few months, again, choose a new direction. I feel that was the essence of your reading, choosing a new direction. And meditation brings answers, okay? So manifesting, okay? When you're meditating, um, in a meditative state, remember your affirmations, your manifestations, what you think about, what you resonate with, moving forward um, fearlessly. I feel like a lot of victory, of course, within your reading. We have the chariot here. Again, where did it go? But we do have the chariot here twice in your energy here. We, or, or And we also have victory. Okay, victory. So a lot of changes coming for you in June, but you are ready for them. I feel you're very ready for these changes. And yes, so that is your energy, leaving this behind to new love, okay? And new partnerships with the three of pentacles, okay? There you go. So... That is your reading. I hope it resonated. I hope you got a message from this. I hope it has helped. If you have, hit the like button. And so there you go, Taurus. A lot of changes. Hold tight. It's going to be um, a lot of different things going on for you. A lot of energies leaving the past behind. But I think that you will be very happy once you have this um, fresh new beginning in love for you. Okay. So justice is on your side too. So no worries there. And um, secrets will be revealed. Okay. And as well with the deception, any lies or deceits that as well will be revealed and you will move forward from that. So I thank you so much and have a wonderful week, a beautiful June, and I will see you next time on Tease Tarot.